Hello, good evening, guys. Good evening, Lester. Good evening, Luis, Mariana, Rocio, Giselle, Kenya, Monica, Kenya Candrai, Rene Guevara. Welcome to the class. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for evening. joining. Hi. Well, this is Lester. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lester. Welcome. Let's see, just give me one moment to let me share my screen. Okay. So how are you guys? How was your day? ¿Cómo les fue hoy? Type it in the chat. How was your day? Was it good? Was it amazing? Was it bad? You know, was it difficult? Was it um, stressful? Dice Mariana, very tiring. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Mariana. Okay, very good. Who else? Who else? I'm going to start sharing my screen. There we go. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. So it is, uh, Rene says, my day was very tiring. Tiring. Con ing, porque como es un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Tiring. Oops. Dice Kenia, Kenia Kandrai, I had a, a busy day. A busy day. I had a busy day. Yeah, me too. Me too, Kenia. <laughs> me too. I had a, a busy day. Give me one. I have a busy day too, actually. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, tiring, right? Okay, is an adjective, right? It's an adjective. It says, causing one to need rest or sleep, right? Es el adjetivo de cansado, right? Tiring. Tiring. Very good. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it was, it was a busy day. It was a difficult day, but thank you for being here. Gracias por acompañarnos. Okay, so this is session number six, ¿verdad? Session number six, today is October 20th, right? Este mes se nos fue así y estamos a dos de terminar el año. So we're about to finish the year 2020. Let's see what 2021 brings. ¿Verdad? Veamos qué nos trae el 2021. So this is session number, two, number six. Today is October 20th. Eh, remember, eh, este jueves van a tener su segunda semana, ¿verdad? Así que ya estarían a la mitad del curso, which is something cool. And then, um, well, let's have a recap of what we studied yesterday, okay? Uh, yesterday, I told you that I needed you to uh, review these structures, right? No quise enviar ejercicios, because actually, uh, I'm, I'm planning to do that probably tomorrow, because I wanted you to focus on the exercises. I told you, prepare examples, prepare your um Talk about your wishes, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Yesterday we talked a little bit, y con eso creo yo que ya habíamos cerrado la sección, for that section number three. So this week what we're going to do is that we're going to talk a little bit about the things that probably you didn't uh, complete in sections one, two, and three. And then on Thursday we're going to start work, well, we're going to clarify doubts about your midterm, right? So how many of you, how many of you have already um worked or completed the 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 midterm or section three quienes ya terminaron de trabajar lo que nos toca esta semana de la plataforma okay raise your hand you can raise your hand if you want raise your hand dice mariana no yet okay very good thank you mariana and in that case, um, just try to do it this week because we're going to, uh, we will need to finish that this week, right? Esa es nuestra meta esta semana. To complete sections one, two, and three. And Thursday, good we evening. Are... Good evening. Hello, Ara. Welcome. Thank welcome you. Welcome to the class. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much, you know, for this week. So yesterday, we started talking about adjectives and also, um, you know, use adjectives to compare, okay? So what do you remember? What is an adjective? What is an adjective? I want everyone to go to the chat, go to the chat and type, what is an adjective for you? What is an adjective? 
type it in the chat. <laughs> Brian says, me almost. I hope to finish tomorrow. No problem, eh, Brian. Hopefully you will be able to finish by tomorrow. So type in the chat, eh, what is, uh, what you remember about adjective? ¿Qué es un adjetivo? ¿Qué es? What is your definition? Una definición. Brian is giving me an example. He says intelligent, okay? But what is it? ¿Qué es? Right? Uh, what is the definition that we can give about adjectives? That's what we did yesterday, right? So please go ahead and share it in the chat, okay? Or you can say it aloud. Let's see, Kenia, Kenia Acevedo, what is an adjective for you? Kenia Acevedo, what is an adjective for you? Mm -hmm, let's see, correct. Excuse me, teacher. I am in other activity with a, with a student. Excuse me. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Thank you, Kenia. Well, yes, Lester, that is correct. Those are attributes or characteristic of the noun, right? And then Mariana says, words we use to describe, very good, to describe a noun, right? And yesterday I was, give you, I was giving you an example, right? An adjective is a word or phrase, naming an attribute, right? Added to or grammatically related to a noun, to modify or describe it, right? So pretty much an adjective are the characteristics, right? That we'd say about something or about someone, right? So we have the little girl and yesterday we were mentioning some of the adjectives, right? So the noun is girl, right? So I'm going to say characteristics about the noun, in this case, a girl, right? So some of the characteristics that I can say are Beautiful, the girl is beautiful. She is intelligent, right? Or the girl is intelligent, or she's clean, right? She's very organized, right? Um, she's jealous, right? She's jealous or friendly, okay? Friendly, okay, very good. That is correct. So those are some of the attributes, right? That, that we can say some, of, or characteristics, right? That we can say about the noun, okay? In this case, is a girl, okay? So, very good. And the topic, el, el tema parecía un poco complicado, but, but if you follow the structure, it becomes a lot easier, okay? It becomes a lot easier. And I was giving you yesterday the, the, the instructions, right? Evaluations and comparisons. That was the topic, evaluations and comparison, right? So we got evaluations with adjectives, right and evaluations with nouns okay so what how do i do i mean how do i uh, express evaluation with adjectives well we do it like this it says apartments aren't big enough for families apartments aren't big enough for families right so in that case i'm just evaluating and comparing right using an adjective in this case big right Apartments aren't big enough for families. And then the second example, I'm not as strong. I mean, yeah, I'm not as strong enough to lift the box, right? No soy lo suficientemente, right? Entonces, we use that in Spanish. Los usamos en español. Like, it isn't warm enough to go for a swim. En español decíamos que los equivalentes son um, eh, no tanto como, ¿verdad? Los apartamentos no son tan grandes, o no son, perdón. Los apartamentos no son lo suficientemente grandes para las familias, right? Suficientemente, and then the adjective, right? Um, la segunda, I'm not strong enough to lift this box. No soy lo suficientemente fuerte, right? But in this case, the adjective goes before enough, right? No suficientemente fuerte para levantar la caja. Or it, it isn't warm enough to go for a swim, right? No es lo suficientemente... Eh, cálido, ¿verdad? El, el, el clima para ir a nadar, ¿ok? So those are some of the things. Me decía René, for me, an adjective eh, describes or, or gives attributes to a noun. That is correct, René. Actually, we use uh, the adjective, we use them to describe or to give attributes, right? Or to, yeah, to um, share characteristics about a noun. That is correct. Okay, then we have the second way. We got apartments aren't 
too small for pets. Apartments aren't too small for pets, right? Now, two. In this particular case, two is going to be eh, no son muy grandes, muy, ¿verdad? The box is too heavy, es muy pesada. It's too cold, está muy helado, right? So that's our equivalent in Spanish, okay? Arriba, apartments aren't big enough for family, or I'm not strong enough to lift this box. También estoy comparando o evaluando, right? And then we said that this is going to be the structure, right? So you, you could go ahead and watch the video again if you want. And I shared with you these um, structures on the chat, right? So it says evaluations and comparison. Evaluations with adjectives using an often too. Right, so we got subject, we got verb B, we got adjective, enough or to, either or, and the um, complement, right? For examples, there you have apartments aren't big enough for families, apartments aren't spacious enough for families, or apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. So right now, what I want you to do is to give me an example, to give me your examples, okay? So you have, um, Three minutes, okay? Three minutes for you to complete that, uh, those sentences, okay? So you have three minutes. Voy a preguntarle uno por uno, así que prepare your examples, okay? Prepare your examples. So you have three minutes. In the chat me pueden avisar cuando ya estén listos, okay? You can tell me, teacher, I'm ready, okay? en el chat, and then um, le voy a preguntar sus oraciones, ¿ok? Take a look at the, take a look at the, at the chat. I mean, the WhatsApp chat, because I shared that info with you, okay? So tell me, are you ready? Or do you need more time? But I need you to let me know si no me dicen. Entonces voy a empezar a preguntar y lo voy a agarrar desprevenidos. Así que dígame, teacher, I need more time. Teacher, I am ready, ¿verdad? Okay, me dice Mariana, yes, more time, okay? So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, okay? So it's seven, nine, 17, a couple of minutes, okay? Pero sí quisiera escuchar sus oraciones, ¿verdad? Sus, um, sus statements para asegurarme de que sí hemos comprendido. <laughs> ok, no problem, Mariana, no problem.
Let me see, someone has typed in the chat. Dice, I finished. Dice Kenia Acevedo. Ok, excelente, Kenia, thank you. Los lo demás, a lo más servir, me avisan aquí en el chat, please, para empezar a compartir vuestras um, sentences, right? Okay, so let me listen to your sentences. Okay, let's see. I'm going to display your list. Just give me one moment. Cuando quiera aparecer esta barrita, aquí está. Yes, I'm ready, says Kenya can dry. And let me go ahead and check the list because we have 13 people in the meeting. So let's see. Um, what about you? Ada, Ada, are you there? Do you have your sentence ready? Ada, do you have your sentence ready? Uh, yes. Excellent. Okay, tell me, what is your sentence? Okay, the houses in my neighborhood aren't big, but they are enough for, a fam for one family. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the at the elements. Actually, we need to check them first. Okay, so please tell me the sentence one more time. The houses in, in my, my neighborhood, neighborhood uh -huh. are not big, mm -hmm. but they are enough for one family. Okay, for one family. Okay, good job. Thank you, Ada. But Let's go ahead and check the elements. Take a look at, at, at the screen, okay? Ahí dice que primero necesito un subject, y ya lo tenemos. Usted me dijo, the houses House. in my neighborhood, right? Muy yeah. bien. Vamos a meter acá. The houses in my neighborhood, okay? Then it says that I need verb to be, ¿verdad? Y usted ya lo agregó, que es aren't, or are not, ¿verdad? Aren't, very good. Luego me dice que yo necesito un adjetivo, right? En este caso usted dijo big, right? Uy, ahí, perdón, cuando usted me lo, di, me lo dictó, no se lo dijiste ahí, perdón. So the houses in my neighborhood aren't El big. El bar sí puede ir, ¿verdad? Mm, no. <ríe> ya, yeah, ah. porque ahí sí cambiaríamos ya la estructura. O sea, su, su oración para mí está bien, tiene sentido, ¿verdad? The houses in my neighborhood aren't big. But they are enough for one family. Está bien. No se preocupe, no lo estoy diciendo que está malo. But si ya lo revisamos con la estructura, vamos a mover ciertos elementos. ¿Ok? Ok. Uh -huh. Pero como le digo, no es que esté malo lo que usted ha hecho. ¿Ok? But let's go ahead and apply the structure. ¿Ok? So the houses in my neighborhood are in big. Entonces ya tengo mi, mi adjetivo. Bueno, déjeme y vamos a usar. We're going to use something here. Spotlight. Ok, acá. Okay. Vamos por acá, miren. Vamos por el adjective. Ya tenemos que es big. So, after the adjective, I need, I need enough or to. En este caso vamos a hacerlo con enough, porque usted me dijo enough, right? So, I big enough uh, for a big family. Digámoslo así, ¿verdad? For a big family. Ok. Ahí en el chat se las dijiste. Ahora sí, tenemos la estructura. The houses in my neighborhood sería el subject, ¿verdad? Aren't, aren't big enough for a big family. ¿Ok, Ana? Así que yes. good job. Ok, good job. Excellent. Now, the second person, Brian, please share with us your sentence. Thank you, Ada. Ok. Brian. All right. All right. Cars aren't cheap enough as motorcycles. Cars aren't 
Keep. Sheep. Enough. Enough. Mm-hmm. As motorcycles. As motorcycles. Okay, let's go ahead and check. Cars aren't cheap enough as motorcycles. Okay, but now let's go ahead and apply the structure, right? Good. Thank you very much, Brian. Let's see the subject. The subject is going to be cards, okay? <clears throat> Give me one moment, I need to drink some water. Sorry guys. Okay, so cars aren't cheap enough as motorcycles. Very good. So I got my subject, which is cars. Okay. <clears throat> Ahora bien, I need my verb to be. Aren't. Okay, very good. I got verb to be. Aren't. Now after verb to be, why do what do I need, Brian? An adjective. The adjective. Now, in this case, it's going to be cheap. Okay, so cars are in sheep. And then after the adjective, I need enough or I need two, right? Right. But in this case, we're using enough, right? Aren't sheep enough, okay? So cars are in sheep enough, okay? Now in here, as you can see, I need a complement, right? Eh, estoy, estoy, digamos, comparando cars como algo súper barato sobre todos los, los, digamos, automobiles, right? Entonces, cars aren't cheap enough y en El Salvador, for example. Porque luego ya viene as and as, pero eso lo vamos a ver en las siguientes, en las siguientes, because right now we're comparing, right? We are evaluating, I'm sorry, evaluated and comparing at the same time, okay? Entonces, Cars aren't cheap enough in El Salvador, right? No son lo suficientemente baratas, ¿verdad? En El Salvador. Okay, well, that's just a set. What about, what about you? Let's see, uh, Eric, what is your sentence, Eric? Eric? Hello, Eric. Eric, are you there? Well, it seems he's not there, right? Uh, Janira was telling us, uh, Janira said I'm ready. So Janira, what is your sentence? Janira. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, Janira, tell uh, me. Um, the parks in San Salvador are pollution enough for tourists. Repeat one more time, the first part. Lo primero no lo comprendí. The, the, the parks. Okay, the parks. In, in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Are pollution enough for tourists? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, uh, Janira. Now, this is a good example, but for the second, for the second version, okay? Janira said the parks in El Salvador are polluted, are polluted enough, I think she said, right? Is that what you said, Janira? Así dijo, are polluted enough for tourists, right? Pollution, uh, contamination, teacher. Ah, okay. Mm, pollution. Okay. Ya vamos a corregir ahí algunas cosillas. Eh, El Salvador. Thank you, Janira. El Salvador. Bye. Entonces, la que, oración que ella me dio está así en el chat. The parks in El Salvador are pollution enough for tourists, she said. Ok, ahora bien, cuando yo traigo esa oración y digo, los parques en El Salvador son lo suficientemente contaminados para los turistas, ¿verdad? Estoy diciendo como que está lo, lo suficientemente contaminado para que ellos vengan, ¿verdad? La idea en este caso es evaluar, ¿verdad? Evaluar que los parques en El Salvador están demasiado contaminados para los turistas. Quiere decir que eso les... Eh, da, les dañaría a ellos, ¿verdad? Sería algo negativo. Entonces, vamos a usar la segunda estructura, Yanira. Ok, en este caso, parks en general. Si no es necesario usar the, porque estoy hablando de los parques en general. Entonces, no necesito el artículo the. So, parks. Parks 
in El Salvador va a ser mi subject. Ok, parks in El Salvador será mi subject. Very good. Y luego tengo eh, the adjective. Ok, en este caso, Yanira, el adjetivo sería polluted. Contaminado. Pollution es el nombre, es el noun. Contaminación, pollution. Pero polluted es el adjetivo. So, parks in El Salvador, luego el verbo to be, are, po, are too, too polluted, right? Are too polluted for tourists. ¿Verdad? Aquí, chicos, tenemos también que ver que la oración eh, tenga sentido, ¿verdad? En el, en el sentido de que, por ejemplo, si yo estoy hablando de algo afirmativo o de algo negativo, una evaluación negativa sería esta. Parks in El Salvador are too polluted for tourists. ¿A dónde vimos eso? Vimos acá. Si se fijan, aquí abajo está, ¿verdad? Apartments aren't, uh, no, the box is too heavy for me to lift. La caja es demasiado pesada para que yo la levante. Parks in El Salvador are too polluted for tourists. Entonces, ese, ¿verdad? Ese ejemplo que me acaba de dar Janida está perfecto para esta sección de acá. Too. Cuando yo, pues, estoy eh, subiendo el grado a ese adjetivo, ¿verdad? Parks in El Salvador are too polluted for tourists. ¿verdad? Muy bien, thank you. What about, well, let's continue with the next slide, okay? Aquí ya tenemos algunos ejemplos. Now, let's move. It says comparison with adjectives. Aquí viene ya eh, las, eh, las eh, the words that we can use. As, as, right? Houses aren't as convenient as apartments, right? Or automatic transmission isn't as good as manual transmission. Now, automatic transmission is los carros eh, eh, automáticos, ¿verdad? Y lo, manual transmission es el carro estándar o mecánico. Que todos son mecánicos, ¿verdad? Pero le llaman estándar, ¿verdad? No sé por qué. Then we have houses are just as convenient as apartments. Automatic transmission is just as good as manual transmission. Okay? So this is another, I would say, structure. Pero en este caso, ¿cuáles son los elementos? Si puede irse al chat, ya les compartí esta información ahí en el chat, ¿verdad? It says, uh, subject, verb be, plus as, plus adjective, plus as, plus now. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments, ¿ok? Now, aquí entra la oración que me decía Brian, ¿ok? Brian me dijo... Cars aren't cheap enough as motorcycles. Aquí sí vamos a comparar los dos. Vamos a usar el ejemplo que nos dio Brian, ¿ok? Sería cars, no, perdón. Uh, ¿Qué me dijo primero? Cars or motorcycles. Cars aren't. Cars aren't, ¿verdad? Cars aren't as cheap as Motorcycle, motorcycles, ok. Ok, so cars, aquí está mi subject, but to be aren't, as, and then the adjective, that would be cheap, and then as, and then the noun, motorcycles. Y ahí nos queda perfecta la oración que Brian nos compartió. Ahí está en el chat. Cars aren't as cheap as motorcycles. Los carros no son tan baratos como las motocicletas. Ok, entonces ahí nos queda perfecto su ejemplo. Now, let me go ahead and listen to your sentences. Vamos a ver, ahora necesito oraciones con esa estructura, ok. I will give you three minutes. Esas son más fáciles todavía, ok. I will give you three minutes. Three minutes, por favor, three minutes. And prepare your sentences. Okay, in the meantime, let me answer to one of the participants que nos está escribiendo ahorita, permita. Mientras ustedes terminan el ejercicio. I'm going to put this here. And this one en una esquinita, por acá.
Okay, guys, let me know if you're ready in the chat. Okay. And I'm going to continue. Ya, ya participó Ada, Brian, Eric no nos respondió, pero luego creo que participó Yanira. Okay. Dice René, I'm ready. Luis Morales dice. Hmm. The rain, but the rain is singular, Luis. The rain is singular. And I think the adjective could be probably cold. Okay, Brian. Hammocks aren't comfortable enough as pets. Ah, okay. Entonces, en ese caso, Brian, ese sería como la anterior. Let's see. Subject. That would be hammocks. And then verb aren't. The adjective comfortable. And then enough. Uh, and then the noun. Muy bien, Brian. Yes. Esa sería con esa estructura que estoy mostrando ahorita. Um, Hammocks aren't comfortable enough as pets. This is Giselle, the bank is as big. No, Giselle, ahí vamos a, a revisar bien. Y también Luis, the rain. Okay. Well, right now I'm going to ask. Voy a preguntar, okay. So let's continue. Let's see. Uh, Lester, Lester, please give us your example with this structure, okay. Give us your example with this structure. Lester. Yes, uh, I type it in the chat. My example is cats aren't as big as dogs. Okay, very good. Let's see. Let me open the chat because it se me cerró. Wait. Let's see. Um, Lester, cats aren't as big as dogs. Let's see, subject cats. Verb be aren't as, uh, and the adjective as big as dogs. Excellent. Thank you very much, Lester. Good job. What about you, Luis? Luis Morales, can you give me your example, please? Luis Morales. <laughs> Mariana, yeah, I like, I like your sentence. Hi, Luis. Please uh, hi. share your example. Uh, hi. Uh, she, yes, uh, uh, I have two examples. Okay. Uh, um, rain is not as cool as snow. Okay, rain, very good. Rain is not as cool as snow. Very good, okay? So, the, without the day, right? So, uh, like rain, like that in general. Rain is not as cool as snow. Very good. What else? Uh, and another... Um, uh, the chemistry sign, the chemistry signs, just as difficult as math. Okay, let's take a look at the sentence, Luis. Okay, I understand the idea, but let's check. Por eso les di los elementos. Vamos a checar los elementos, eh, Luis. So the subject, subject. Eh, well, in this case, we're talking about chemistry, right? So let's leave it just chemistry, without science. Okay, very good. And then uh, I think you're used, you're trying to use the, the previous structure, right? Houses are just as convenient as apartments, okay? Entonces, podríamos decir, eh, chemistry is, oops, is just as difficult as math, right? Chemistry is just as difficult as math. ¿Por qué? Vamos a ver los elementos acá, okay? Uh, chemistry is just, porque aquí va just, ¿verdad? Chemistry is, verbo to be, just as difficult as math. Ok, good job. Luis, ahí está la oración ya eh, corregida. Ok, very good. Eh, what about you? What about you, René? What about your sentences? Tell me your sentences. Good evening. Everyone. Good evening. My sentence number one is... The water is a healthy has soda. <laughs> okay, let's see. In number, in number two, this computer isn't as good as laptop. Okay, very good. Let's see. We got water is as healthy as soda. <gasps> Do you think, René, el agua es tan saludable como la soda? <laughs> okay, let's see. Water is as healthy as soda. Let's see. Water is as it's, healthy as soda. Mm -hmm. Sí, está bien. La oración está correcta. Uh, I'm just asking you, do you agree with that? 
La oración está correcta, no hay problema, pero do you agree with that? Es ese. Es ese. Verb to be. Es ese. Ah, okay. Ese has healthy. Ah, ok, pero si... Re oh, really? Ok, so water... Oops, sorry. Water isn't... Ya decía yo. Isn't as... Oops, as healthy as soda. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Water isn't as healthy as soda. Pero yo creo que sería al revés. Ok, sería... Soda isn't as healthy as water. ¿verdad? La soda no es tan saludable como el agua, ¿verdad? Solo tendríamos que darle ahí, pasar los elementos de un lado al otro, ¿verdad? Soda isn't as healthy as water, ¿ok? Pay attention to the, uh, con lo que queremos resaltar, right? Thank you very much, René. El, el segundo ejemplo, su segundo ejemplo. This computer, this computer isn't as good as laptop. Excellent. This computer isn't as good as laptops. Muy bien. I, I, that sentence is correct. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't agree. <laughs> ah, you don't agree? Okay, tell us why. Tell us why. I just think desktop computers are better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually they are, right? They are better. But what I can say, Lester, is that probably laptops are more convenient because laptop, you can take it with you wherever you go. But the desktop, that will be a little bit difficult, right? To carry the CPU and the monitor, etc. Nowadays, we have smaller versions, but hay unas que son bien super hiper mega compactas, right? The CPU is very small and the monitor is very, you know, aesthetic. It's being aesthetic, right? It's very aesthetic and it doesn't look that bulky. No se ve todo así, todo grandote, bulky, right? So, uh, thank you very much. What about you? Let's see, Mariana, what about your examples? Good evening. Good evening, Mariana. Okay, um, my first sample is high heels aren't as comfortable as sneakers. Excellent, let me check where is the sentence, uh, where the sentence, I'm sorry. Uh, re I remember, vi que, aquí está, vi que la dejito acá. Yes. Aquí está, very good. So let's take a look at the elements. Uh, let's see, high heels, subject, aren't, very good, as. Comfortable as sneakers. Good job, Mariana. What about your second sentence? Fruits, fruits are as healthy as vegetables. Very good. La dijito acá. No. No. Okay. Yeah. Fruits. No, don't worry. It's okay. Fruits are as healthy as vegetables. Very good. Now, cuando yo uso as, as, that is comparison of equality. Estoy diciendo que sus dos elementos son iguales, ¿verdad? O eh, tienen esa misma característica. So, fruits are as healthy as vegetables, meaning that los dos son súper saludables, ¿verdad? Los dos están al mismo nivel. Very good. Thank you, Mariana. Very good. Okay, what about you? Well, Ada is, is sharing more examples. Well, let me check the chat. Veo que están participando bastante en el chat. Veamos, ¿ok? Um... Okay, current aren't as big as dogs. Muy bien. Apartments in San Salvador aren't as comfortable as houses in my town, says Kenya. Kenya, por algún motivo le creo, okay? San Salvador, you know, is a busy city, right? And we have a lot of stress and, we, you know, we have problems with traffic. And we have, you know, we're too, much, too many people, right? We're too many people. And I guess apartments outside of San Salvador are, you know, I wouldn't say apartments. Probably the area is a lot more quiet. Es como más tranquila, right? So apartments in San Salvador, veamos acá, apartments in San Salvador aren't, right? Aren't as comfortable as the houses in my town. As the houses in my town. Muy bien, can I like your example? Luego tengo the, um, esto ya la corregí, esto también. Rain, no, esto también. Uh, the, uh, Alcatel smartphone, smartphones aren't as expensive as Apple smartphones. Yeah, that's true, right? Uh, I can say this phone isn't as expensive as that phone. Muy bien, excellent. Tickets, the tickets for theater aren't as expensive as in the cinema. That's true, Kenya, okay? Veamos acá la estructura. Tickets, the, the tickets for theater aren't as expensive as the cinemas. 
tickets, right? Cinemas tickets. Very good, Kenya. Dice Brian. <laughs> bueno, no puedo decir el nombre de, la, de las marcas, pero. Yeah, Brian. This, this soda isn't as good as that soda. Okay, very good, Brian. Está bien la oración. Uh, she is as stubborn as her father. Okay, she is as stubborn as her father. Uh, chemistry is, I said it is just as difficult as math. Creo que se yo la corregí. Luego soda, ya estaba, esa también, esa también. Houses aren't as cheap as apartments. Okay, yeah, houses are more expensive, Ada. That is correct. Neighborhood in the city isn't. En este caso, como es singular, el que me menciona, Kenya, neighborhood in the city isn't as safe as in a town. Okay, I'm going to correct it. Neighborhood. In the city, isn't, oops, isn't as safe as in a, in, in, a, in the town or in my town, right? Okay, ahí está la corrección. Thank you. Okay, so that was about this type of comparison, right? And we were talking about some examples. Ya veo que los están usando. Very good. Now, That type of sentences, esas oraciones eran con comparison with adjectives, ¿ok? Pero, ¿qué sucede cuando yo quiero hacer comparison with nouns? ¿Ok? That's a little bit different. ¿Ok? I got evaluation with nouns and comparison with nouns. ¿Cómo funciona acá? ¿Ok? So, we say, uh, apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Or, I don't have enough money to buy a car. Now, ¿qué sucede aquí? Ah, well, let me read the, the last two examples. The soup has too much salt in it, or the new cars cost too much money. What happens here? They were enough and too, and too much, right? They go next to a noun, okay? We're not using adjectives, right? So, los apartamentos no tienen eh, suficiente espacio para parqueo, o... Yo no tengo suficiente dinero para comprar un carro nuevo, right? So those are the sentences. So I'm going to use to and enough with a noun, okay? Pero ¿cómo es el, 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 el otro con comparison with nouns? Porque esta es evaluation, guys. Y ahí es donde podemos nosotros a veces confundirnos. ¿Estamos evaluando o estamos comparando, right? Entonces, here we are evaluating. Pero ya cuando me paso, oops, cuando me paso al otro es comparison, right? I'm comparing, okay? So apartments have just as many rooms as houses or apartments don't have as much privacy as houses, right? But what are what, what is the structure here, okay? Apartments, noun, and then I got my verb, and then enough, and then the noun that I am mentioning, right? So what I want you to do is right now, to uh, prepare your examples, okay? Vamos a mencionar a los que no han participado aún, okay? So prepare your examples, please. Go there and prepare your examples. And I will give you three minutes, okay? Three minutes for you to prepare your examples and then we're going to continue. Acuérdese que este es un review también, ¿verdad? ¿Tienen preguntas de la plataforma, chicos? ¿Hay alguna sección también que, con la que hayan tenido dificultad? ¿Verdad? Me avisan, okay? Remember to uh, finish um, your sections one, two, and three. Para esta semana, junto con el midterm, tienen que estar finalizados, okay? R don't forget that. Así que let me know. Three minutes, three minutes. I'm going to put this here just for a moment. Now let's see.
<laughs> Good job, Kenya. Thank you for your example. So Kenya, she just gave me the first example, okay? Kenya, can you read your example, please? Open your microphone and read your example. Mm -hmm. My desk don't have a note space for my things. Okay, it is, the sentence is great. There is just one thing that we need to, um, to modify, okay? It's my desk doesn't, okay? Porque es it, ¿verdad? Uh, my desk doesn't have enough space for my things. De ahí de lo contrario estamos, pero perfectas, okay? For my things. Thank you, Kenya, very kind. My desk doesn't have enough space for my things. If you see, tiene todos los elementos que necesita, okay? My desk, aquí, doesn't have enough space for my things. Muy bien, Kenya, excellent. Veamos, Brian, Brian, open your microphone and read your sentence, please. I don't have enough patience to wait for my friends. <laughs> okay, very good. I don't have enough patience, right, to wait for my friend. Let's see. I don't have enough Patience to wait for my friend. Great job, it is correct. What about you, Lester? Can you open your microphone and read your sentence? Yes, my sentence is, my house doesn't have enough rooms for my family. Excellent, let's see. My house doesn't have enough rooms for my family. Good job, good job with your sentence, okay? Uh, what about you? Let me check. Uh, Kenia Acevedo, Kenia Acevedo, please read your sentence. Open your microphone and read your sentence. Okay. Neighborhoods in San Salvador are too much dangerous for visitors. Mm -hmm. Neighborhoods in San Salvador are too much dangerous for visitors. You know what? Your sentence is fine. Solo hay que quitar un elemento, okay? Y va a estar perfect. Let's see. Vamos a ver. That would be neighborhoods in San Salvador are too dangerous. Sin el much, porque no necesitamos much acá, ¿verdad? Are too dangerous for visitors. Y ahí quedamos set. Quedamos perfectos, Kenny, okay? Thank you very much. Uh, Brian, it seems that you, well, let me listen to René and then I, I'll go back with you, Brian. So René, please open your microphone. Uh, the street has too much trash. Very good. In this case, we say litter, right? Uh, litter, like this. Thank now, you. You're welcome, okay? And yeah, it is correct. Just let me give you the definition of that word. Let me move this here and I'm going to go here and I'll do it here. Let's see. It's loading. Just give me one moment. Aquí está. Can I read this? Or? Yes, of course. Go okay. ahead. Okay. My sentence is my cell phone doesn't have enough memory space. Very good. Okay. Cualquier parecido pura coincidencia, right? Okay, very good. Let's see, um, just let me give you the definition of litter, okay? Ahí está, ahí está, eh, René. So, the street has too much litter, right? And yes, in este caso, sí. Tiene demasiada, eh, demasiado desechos, verdad, basura por todos lados, okay? So, the street, if we, si vemos acá, se apega a la siguiente, a la de abajo, verdad? The street has too much litter, right? Very good. And then I go back to the example. Repeat your example. ¿Quién me acaba de decir el de la memoria? Repeat it, please. Uh, me. Uh, my cell phone doesn't have enough memory space. Okay, very good. Okay. Myself, thank you, Eric, right? Yes. Thank you, Eric. My cell phone doesn't have enough space, okay? And it is just as the first two examples, right? We are following the same structured, okay? Um, then let's see. Hey, Sarah, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, what is the reason in the sentence apartment don't have? Uh, por, por qué no es, doesn't have? Ah, very good question, uh, Eric. The reason why is because the word apartments is plural, right? So 
if I say apartments, eso sería they, ¿verdad? Porque es plural. Pero si yo digo solo apartment, eso sería it, porque solo uno. Okay. okay Very Thanks. good. Entonces, you're welcome. We use don't with they and we use doesn't with it, right? Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo estoy hablando de uno, I would say eh, an apartment, an apartment doesn't have enough space or enough parking space. Or an apartment doesn't have enough space for a big family. If you're a big family, if you have a big family, an apartment won't be enough. So, an apartment doesn't have enough space for a big family. Entonces, ahí sí ya tendríamos que usar doesn't, because I'm talking about only one apartment, okay? Very good. So, any other question? Let's see. Monica, Monica, can you open your microphone and read your sentence, please? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, the cake doesn't have enough chocolate on top of it. Okay, the cake doesn't have enough chocolate, right, on top of it. Yeah, of course, if you're, if you're like picky, right, and if you want a chocolate cake, you want a lot of chocolate cake on top of it, right? So, yeah, if you see the structure is correct, apartments don't have, <laughs> the cake, I'm sorry, doesn't, doesn't have enough chocolate, right, on the top of it. Luego, eh, Janira, can you open your microphone and read your sentence, please? La de country houses, Janira. Janira, are you there? Yes, yes, teacher. <laughs> um, uh, country houses have enough space for the jar. Very good, right? Yeah, it's true. Actually, uh, uh, outside, you know, San Salvador in the countryside, you can have big gardens, you can have big jars, you can even plant trees. Like, you know, well, you know, uh, with mangoes uh, trees or I don't know, you name it, right? You can do so many things with the space. And yes, actually the sentence is correct, right? If you see country houses have, right, enough space for a yard. In este caso yo diría for a yard, para un jardín, verdad? Para un patio, for a yard. Very good. And then I would like you, Brian... Brian, I, I, I saw a sentence about a taco. Can you go ahead and read your sentence about the taco, Brian? This taco has too much spicy in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, spicy sauce, right? Como salsa picante, right? So very good. Uh, let's see. This taco has too much spicy sauce on it. On, verdad? On, sur surface, on it. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. So uh, let me go ahead and move here. Well, then the second thing. Eh, bueno, espero que haya quedado un poquito más claro. Yo sé que puede tender a ser un poco confuso, pero media vez nosotros sepamos cómo usarlos. Ya van a ver ustedes de repente, van a usar las oraciones como, como si nada, right? But the idea is for you to practice, ¿verdad? Ahora que ya tenemos una mejor idea y que cada quien ha hecho sus ejemplos y sus ejercicios, entonces ya vamos a mandarles unos links para que ustedes hagan más ejercicios a, a, sobre este tema. Pero no los quise enviar así porque primero hubiese, quería, mejor dicho, quería escuchar de ustedes que tenían una mejor idea de cómo utilizarlos, ¿ok? Así que that's what I'm planning to do. And I'm going to, I'm going to write it down. Otherwise, I will forget I have my, my notebook, right? Okay, wait. Very good. So I'm going to have one thing to do. This one is done. And I got that written down. Very good. So um, that was about evaluations, right, and comparisons. Then the question is, ¿está más claro, chicos? Eh, ¿Tienen una mejor idea de cómo utilizarlos? Voy a escuchar sus beautiful voices. Dice Mariana, yes, teacher. Okay, I'm happy to hear that, Mariana. Very good. Me encanta cuando me dicen, sí, teacher, ya estuvo, ya. Ya entendí. Okay, pero es igual, si, no, si tiene preguntas o tiene dudas, avísenme, ¿verdad? Teacher. Mejor dígame, dígame. But I feel confused about the use of wish. Wish. Ah, wish, lo que vamos a ver ahorita. Oh, yes. Bueno, en los últimos minutitos que tenemos, porque ya casi terminamos. Pero no se preocupe que igual mañana vamos a seguir y vamos a aclarar dudas también sobre esto, ¿ok? Dígame, ¿cuál es la duda que usted tiene, Mariana? I feel confused about um, use could and couldn't and would and wouldn't. Oh, ok, muy bien. 
Dice, dice Kenya, yes, teacher, I understand. Thanks. Okay. Now, in this case, eh, Mariana, there is one thing. En realidad no es tanto que cuando voy a usar would y cuando voy a usar could, sino que cada vez que yo use wish, yo tengo que utilizar, eh, después de wish, tengo que utilizar past simple, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿verdad? Si yo de repente quiero utilizar el verbo can, o sea, quiero hablar de ability, por ejemplo, yo puedo decirle algo ahorita. En mi caso, yo siempre, eh, yo quisiera, ¿verdad? Saber tocar el, el, el piano. Me llamó la atención siempre, pero nunca he tenido tiempo, digamos, también aparte que es un, es un gasto extra, si usted paga las clases, pues, that's more money, right? Entonces, yo puedo decir, I wish I could play the piano. Ok, I wish I could play the piano. En este caso, uso could porque en realidad lo que quiero utilizar es can for ability, pero como tiene que estar en pasado, entonces, yo voy a usarlo en, en pasado, ¿verdad? I wish I could play the piano. O puedo decirle, por ejemplo, yo recuerdo que, no, hablemos de wishes en presente. Uh, bueno, digamos, ahorita digamos que yo tengo ganas de ver una película. Por supuesto, ya a esta hora ya no, ¿verdad? Ya es hora de dormir, ¿ok? Because tomorrow I have to wake up early. Entonces diría, eh, yo quiero ver una película en este momento, no se me hace posible porque en realidad sí, ya, ya es hora de ir a dormir, ¿verdad? Después de, la, después de terminar lo que tengo que hacer acá. Entonces yo digo, I wish I could watch a movie. I wish I could watch a movie, but I can't. No puedo porque I, I, feel, I feel tired. Y luego, ¿qué pasa con would? ¿Ok? Si yo estoy hablando de un deseo, por ejemplo, dice, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Mis papás no van a dejar de preocuparse por mí, pero yo estoy hablando en futuro, porque es cierto, nosotros como padres nunca vamos a dejar de preocuparnos por nuestros niños, aunque ya estén grandes, ¿verdad? Bueno, mi hija tiene 12, right? Pero yo me preocupo por ella como que, como que fuera una chiquitita, right? Entonces, my parents, dice la persona, won't stop worrying about me. En este caso, el pasado de will es would, como verbo modal. Entonces, yo voy a decir, como yo, ese es el deseo que yo tengo en mi presente, I wish they would stop worrying about me. Desearía que dejaran de preocuparse por mí. Entonces, todo depende, ¿verdad? De, 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 de cuál es la, la estructura que yo quiero utilizar. Lo que debo de asegurarme es que después de wish, yo voy a usar past simple. Por eso uso could, porque estoy hablando de ability con can, pero en pasado. Y por eso uso would, porque estoy utilizando el pasado de will, porque originalmente la oración venía en will. ¿Verdad? Pero igual, no se preocupe que mañana vamos a seguir viendo eh, ese tema. Mañana lo retomo. Igual, si ustedes tienen dudas con respecto a cualquier ejercicio de la plataforma, mañana lo traen a la clase. Y así pues eh, lo vemos aquí. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Respondo su pregunta, Mariana, por el momento? Yes. yes, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Ok, so guys, if there are no more questions, so it's time to let you go. Thank you very much for joining. Okay, and um, I hope you rest. Espero que descanse. Have a good night and let's meet tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. bye teacher. Bye-bye.